or sledgehammer, whatever you want to call it. Um, what got me to thinking about this was a, uh, if you go on the Alone's Facebook page, they've got a video up there on them interviewing Lucas on uh, the equipment that he took with him. And he said that the big saw that he took was really a, a plus for him. And he said that, um, that he used that actually more than he used his axe. So some of my thinking behind actually figuring out how to make something like this without having an axe is um, if you're carrying a big saw, um, you don't really need the axe. But one thing I have seen across the show is a lot of the guys and Lucas himself are, were using the axe to drive stakes and things like that. So um, I'm kind of thinking more along the lines of taking maybe a, uh, a big saw, a uh, a Leatherman and then more of a medium size. I would take a machete if if uh, If they allow it, I don't know if that's one of the items that you can pick or not But a medium size knife that you could just use for smaller chopping I think overall that you would use those tools more than you would an axe not that I have anything against an axe um, It's a, it's a great tool. It's, it's really good for what it's for um, It's also like what we just saw in uh, episode 2 uh, with the uh, Mary Kay there, um, tough break. I got a lot of respect for you going out there and that's just, a, it's really a, a rough way to end it. I, I think you would have gone uh, quite a ways with it. So that's a tough break. Um, but uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, uh, a primitive uh, sledgehammer. I started with the idea and I started with this right here. Um, as you can see, I took the one side, split it down cut a, a notch on the back side here and I cut a notch on the back side here and then attached a rock on here using 550 cord. Um, it took about three and a half yards of 550 cord. I made a, a, a mesh on the back that had the rock so it wouldn't slide out but I couldn't get with the two attachment points here because I didn't want the, the striking end to actually be hitting hitting my cordage and possibly snapping and you having the rock fly off at the wrong time that wouldn't be good so and just couldn't find a way to get this right here to cinch that rock down on there without having a little bit of a play to it so I've come up with a little bit of a different idea here so I'm gonna get started back here I'm gonna take this this tree right here I'm gonna cut it off here and I'm actually gonna leave the um, the, uh, the part that I'm going to be working on attached to here so I have something sturdy to work with while I'm working. Uh, so um, I'm going to get started here. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to do the whole video here. You can, you can watch it step by step if you want to, to see um, how, uh, how I do this. Or you can fast forward to the end right now and um, look at my finished product. So I'm going to get started. So unfortunately I don't have a really big saw right now, most of the time I just use a chainsaw, but I figured I would uh, pull the little Gerber out and uh, start with that. So I'm going to get a cut here, I'm to fall this direction.
okay as you can see a bigger saw would do a job a whole lot faster just gonna flatten the top off here so it's probably gonna come down right under that knot good flat surface to start working with there. And I'm going to take my rock, figure out where I want it set. Flat spot there. 